I've overcome domestic violence, alcoholism, drugs in my life, not having a God in my understanding in my life. When you're down like that, it's hard to look at the future. I just met the right people that wanted to help us out. The whole idea behind the Grace House is the fact that we wanted to offer someone a place where they could feel like they were at home. My name is Ed Cooling. I'm the pastor at Grace United Methodist Church in Millsboro, Delaware. The property next door to our church was a mess. With the grass being really high and it looked like it really needed a lot of work, we got to thinking maybe we could use it for a ministry at Grace Church. My name is Claire. My daughter and I, Sarah, have been living here at the Grace House for two months now. Before I came to the Grace House, I didn't know where we were going to sleep, where we were going to eat, where we were going to shower, and I was very distraught. I had no hope. Someone in our church knew Claire. We interviewed with her, and after the interview, we just realized that she is a person who is really trying with everything that she has to make a better life for her and her daughter. Good morning. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Good to see you. Good to oh, see you too. Come on in. Thank you. The family of their church have just been, it, it, I feel like they've taken us under their wings. So the church volunteers did everything from repairing the bathrooms, painting, um, spackling, ripping out cabinets. Well, just, we just try to help people get started. Everybody needs a little jump start once in a while. Claire is in. We're fixing up the upstairs so that we can move our second family into the Grace House. When I first came here, I moved into a uh, sobriety house. You know, Claire moved into the Grace House, and, and it's nice that we're providing a house, but that's, you know, basically not enough. My name is Jason Hastings, the financial counselor here at Grace. So I understand that you work two jobs, Yes, correct? I do. So what do you do at these jobs? Uh, the full-time first income is from a chicken plant. I fry and bake chicken there. Part of our program is to uh, teach Claire or any individual who stays at the Grace House um, how to manage their money. That way, when they leave, the Grace House wasn't just a temporary solution. It was a step toward uh, being able to live independently. I'm just so grateful to be here and to have a home to come to with my daughter and to make her dinner. <laughs> it's just overwhelming. I guess this is normal for like kids, like this is the norm. Like get to come home, live in your house with your parents, have your own room, like have your mom have her own room, like get to chill together. From six months to a year, I think I'll be able to be on my feet well enough. I envision Sarah and I having our own home. And then someone else that needs this can come and live in here and we can all make the world go round.